in this year. This came to light after the MK party members and their motorcade descended on Sisulu's job back home on Sunday, where she hosted them for a while. The disciples of Soma's party, who were resplendent in the party regalia, emblazoned with the words, Vote MK 2024 departed later and leaving Sisulu behind. After their departure, Sisulu walked out of her home and shot the breeze with unknown men who were standing outside her residence. But Sisulu, who was like Zoma, she has been very vocal about the direction the ANC was taking under the current leadership of Cyril Ramaphosa. According to the Sunday World publication, the MK party members gathered at her home as a courtesy visit from former members. Sisulu's advisor, Pumzi Ndegazi, said the members, some of whom she worked with when she was a minister of defense, had come to inform her that they were leaving the ANC to join the Umkontowe Sisu party and said she tempted in a courtesy visit to inform her that they are leaving the African National Congress so that she would not be surprised. This was the same courtesy visit she received from some of her former colleagues who went to form COPE. Nothing more than that. Members of the ANC's MK wing have long been Sisulu's grassroots supporters and when asked how she felt about the ANC members abandoning the party, Degazi replied and said Sisulu said she understood them and said she emphasized that she did not have the luxury to dump the ANC, she never joined the ANC and said I was born in the ANC so I cannot leave, the ANC is my home. Sisulu is the daughter of the late ANC stalwarts Walter and Albertina Sisulu, like the Tambumbeki and Mandela families. They enjoy royal status within the ANC. The publication also learned that an another reason for the MK Party's visit to Sisulu was to inform her that the organization intended to soon throw a massive celebration in honor of the founding fathers of the ANC's former MK military wing, namely Govan Beki, Walter Sisulu and Nelson Mandela. Degazi also said that they are planning a big humdinger which Sisulu said she could not stop if they were honoring her father. Sisulu has raised her hand for the ANC presidency on two occasions with no success during the party's elective conference in 2017 and 2022 in Nazareth, Johannesburg. Ramaphosa was elected for his first and second terms respectively after she failed to secure enough votes. In 2022, she sparked controversy when she wrote an open letter titled Hi Msansi, have you seen justice? In which she criticized the South African constitution and the judiciary. The latter read in parts. Today in the high echelons of our judicial system are these mentally colonized Africans who have settled with the worldview and mindset of those who have dispossessed their ancestors. They are only too happy to lick at the spittle of those who falsely claim superiority, the lack of confidence that permits their rulings against their own speaks very loudly, while others secure in their agenda, clap behind closed doors. The opinion column and some of her overt criticism of Cyril Ramaphosa have been mentioned as the main reasons why she was sidelined under Ramaphosa's administration more after she was reshuffled as tourism minister. On Monday, a day after the MK party's visit, Sisulu's uncle Mboiselo Hlakula, who was Walter Sisulu's cousin, passed away. Her spokesperson said, it was therefore doubtful that Sisulu will attend the ANC's election manifesto launch in Devon this weekend. Instead, she was likely to travel to Ngobo in the Eastern Cape for funeral preparations. Meanwhile, the ANC has applied to the Electoral Court seeking to nullify the MK Party's registration to contest the upcoming elections. In its court papers, the governing party argued procedural irregularities and said the MK party was unlawfully registered. Late last month, the ANC also suspended Jacob Zuma's party membership with immediate effect and referred his conduct and association with the MK party to its disciplinary committee. MK party spokesperson Tlamun and Lela said the interim national leaders were not aware of the meeting with Sisulu as it was not sanctioned. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.